Moses, what's going on? It's your boy Nick Moses 05 and Mo Fam. We are in here for another amazing video, and today's video is how to use Zebra Engine on the Nintendo Switch. So, City Connection recently released new versions of old Sega Saturn classics Cotton 2, Cotton Boomerang, and Guardian Force for the PS4 and Nintendo Switch. Not long after that, it was discovered that you could inject your own Sega Saturn ROMs into City Connection's emulator. Go figure. City Connection refers to their emulation technology as Zebra Engine. Zebra Engine not only plays a lot of Saturn ROMs, it also plays them pretty well, if I do say so myself. At the end of this video, I will give some advice and tips on how you can get even better performance out of these ROMs, okay? I want to give my own personal shout out to the dude on screen. He was the first guy I seen make a post about it on GBA Temp. Shout out to you. You were the reason I was able to go ahead and test this. So I want to give big kudos to you and shout out to you and anybody else on GBA Temp because there was a lot of people within the thread who were very helpful as well. So before we go any further, you will need a modified Nintendo Switch running custom firmware. For this test specifically, I use Atmosphere, the latest version. So if you do not have a modified Nintendo Switch running custom firmware, unfortunately, you will not be able to test this. So let's get started. First thing you are going to do is grab a copy of Cotton Guardian for Saturn Tribute. For this test, we use the collection NSP, but there are NSPs for each individual game as well if you want to go that route. For more information about that, you can go to the GBA Temp thread. I will have that in my description. I want you to read through that because they explain how to do it with each specific NSP. So if you want to go that route, go there. Next, grab any Saturn ROM you like. You're probably, you know, downloading Saturn ROMs from all over different websites, but just know they must be in a .binq format. The Zebra Engine will not use any other format, at least to my knowledge, and if there is any others it would use, please put down below in the comments, guys, okay? Also, if you have Saturn ROMs, and let's say they're just currently not in the BenQ format. They're in an ISO format, I think an MDF, something like that. Stay tuned again to the end of this video and I'll go ahead and give some tips on how you can quickly convert those to BenQ, okay? Once you have those, you can go ahead now and install Guardian Force Saturn Tribute NSP to your Nintendo Switch. Now this can be done with, uh, you know, multiple ways. There's individual NSPs of any of the three games if you wanna do that. But in this video, like I mentioned, we'll be doing a collection, which has them all. So I'll be showing myself transferring the NSP using Flash FXP on my PC and FTPD application on my Nintendo Switch. By doing that, I'm able to transfer from my PC to my Nintendo Switch without ever physically connecting my Nintendo Switch to my PC, okay? Now, once I have that NSP on there, there are tons of ways to install NSPs. You guys probably know millions more than I do, but I'm just gonna use Gold Leaf here, okay? Gold Leaf is very simple. So as you see, I scroll to Gold Leaf, browse through my SD card contents, scroll to that NSP and hit install. Once you go ahead and finish it and close out Gold Leaf, Gold Leaf, excuse me, you should be able to see the game on the title screen of Nintendo Switch, which is beautiful. Now I want you to go back to your PC and download XCI NCA NSP version two batch file. I'll put version two batch file description link here as well as the first one, just in case, not sure why you would need the first one, but I'll have them both here. Um, then you will need those because this will allow you to grab the necessary files, okay? You will also need your switch keys. So, switch keys, if you do not have them, I do have a previous lockpick video where I explain how to grab your keys, okay? Just search that for help. But what I'm gonna do right now is show you exactly where you place those keys once you have them, okay? And you should see I place those keys right in that folder. From there, I want you to take the NSP for Cotton Guardian for Saturn Tribute. 
I want you to drag and drop it onto the batch file here, okay, for XCI, NCA, NSP. Once done, it will create a new folder called NSP Extracted. I'm going off the top of my head here, okay, but it should be that name. In that folder, you will see a list of .nca files. The file we need, I will show on screen right now, okay? There are other files that can be used for this, but for this one, we will be using this file I have highlighted. You will take this file, and similar to what you did with the NSP, on the last step, you're going to take this .nca file, you're going to drag and drop it onto XCI NCA NSP batch file and once it completes it will create an nca extracted folder and in this folder you would have all the files we need for right now so let's remote back into our nintendo switch with flash fxp and ftpd if you are not sure how to use these two applications you can also transfer these things by connecting your micro sd card directly to your pc but i am using these two applications if you need if you do need help on how to set those up just go ahead and talk in the comments here i'll help you out but once you are connected to your nintendo switch i want you to browse to this folder that i have shown on screen okay because specifically the title ID, which is for the collection. There are other title IDs for each of these games individually, but since we are using the collection, this is the title ID that most of you will be looking out for, but just make sure that you're using the correct title ID, okay? So in this folder here, you will go inside of it, and then you will create a new folder named ROMFS. You'll be seeing me do this on screen okay now inside of there okay so this is inside of the rom fs folder i would like for you to drag and drop everything from inside of the nca extracted folder over into the rom fs folder on the switch for the micro sd card now there have been multiple people i have seen not use all of these files but for this all of the files work for me so i just threw them all on there so next thing I want you to do is click on the download link in my description for a decrypted config underscore switch dot ini. This was provided by the user on screen. So give them a shout out. I did not do this. We really appreciate it. Now you're going to rename this file to cotton2 underscore switch dot ini and place this file in the ROM FS folder as well. Okay. So you will be asked to overwrite. Once you place it in there, you can go ahead and hit yes. Bingo. Now, just to make sure you are good so far, you can exit FTPD on your Nintendo Switch. Go into the Cotton Guardian for Saturn Tribute game. From there, I want you to launch Cotton 2 and make sure it comes up with no issues. And if it works, then you're almost home free. We're glad that those files are in place and they all are working. If it's not working, then you may need to take a couple steps back and figure out what's going on, okay? Now, I want to go ahead and get our Switch and our PC back connected. So this is where we're gonna use FTPD and Flash FXP like we did previously. Now go back to our ROM FS folder. So this time I want you to transfer any Saturn.bin file that you would like to play into this folder. Yes, I have multiple and you will see that on screen now. So you can take multiple .bins and I want you to place them in this folder. Now once finished, you will need to do this last final step to get everything working. All of your .bin files should have a .q file associated with them you are going to take that .q file, make a copy of it and place it somewhere else, okay? And then you're going to rename the copy of that .q file, cotton2.q. You're then going to transfer the cotton2.q into the ROMFS folder on the Nintendo Switch micro SD card. When asked to overwrite, you're going to go ahead and hit yes. Once done, you can exit FTP, go back into Cotton Guardian for Saturn Tribute and launch Cotton 2, and there you go. 
you should be able to see the game. So that's for whichever game.q file you copied over of the original .q. So if you renamed a .q file for Nights into Dreams to Cotton2.q, then Nights into Dreams will be the game that launches. I hope that explains it better. Now moving forward, all you will need to do is replace the Cotton2.q file currently in the ROM FS folder with a .q from any of the Saturn.bin files that you have currently in that folder and it will play that game. So now I'd like to go through some tips that'll probably help you out tremendously with that. So first, go over to GBA Temp Thread and read through it. I cannot say that enough times. There's a lot of questions already answered there that you may be asking, but if you wanna ask, you can ask here, and hopefully we can get someone in the comments to help out, and I try to jump in where I can, okay? But if you're looking for how to get to that thread, the link for it is in my description. Also, I cannot guarantee every game will work, okay? This is a work in progress. There's a lot of testing being done. So just know that you may try a game and it may not work, okay? Now, also, the cotton2 underscore switch.ini has a lot of adjustable files. So please refer to that GBA temp thread and they explain a lot about the different functionalities of this file. There are some games that don't even work until you make adjustments to this file and then it works. So please definitely take a look into that. If you have Saturn ROMs that are, let's say in an ISO or MDF format and they're not in the bin.qs, uh, one program I use is Power ISO. With Power ISO, you can actually, uh, it's a virtual drive, so you can actually mount these images as if they're actual disk. And from there, I can right click directly on it and I can actually select make image. And, and you see right there, it's gonna show BenQ. I can place this image wherever and it's going to create the .BenQ files I need for uh, the tribute emulator, okay? And if you get an error message right before the game launches, then it more than likely will never launch. Every time I got an error, the game never launched. So just so you know, you want to check your files and then go ahead and try again. Uh, with Nights uh, into Dreams, I was not able to start it up until I pressed the plus button. So be aware you may need to do little things like that in order to get it to work. But once I press the plus button, it came right up. And also, last but not least, there are people with custom covers, icons, and everything for their title screen. So please, GBA Temp Thread for that information. But other than that, took up enough of your time. It's your boy, Nick Mothers 05. Mo fam, we out. Millionaire, billionaire, see you when I get there. But now let's grind in the ghetto state of mind. Put the pedal to the floor, I got a steep hill to climb. That money on my mind, gamble everything of mine. Rather be broke than to live with a yoke. Nowadays, people slave for a little bit of hope. Guess I better ball hard, spit a bar, sell dope. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Officer. What it take for my hands to drop? Why to stop? What we here for? You know the answer.